This week on Inside Boulder News, renovations are underway on 238 affordable housing units. The US 36 bikeway now extends to Boulder, and Boulder County residents can get significant discounts on electric vehicles and solar. Welcome to Inside Boulder News. I'm Ashley Prill. Thanks to a unique public-private partnership, 238 affordable housing units will remain permanently affordable to low- and moderate-income households in the city of Boulder. In order to achieve this important outcome, the city partnered with Element Properties, Allison Management, and the Michaels Organization. The Nest Communities is three different affordable housing properties within the city of Boulder. Instead of you know, upgrading them a little bit and doubling rents like we're seeing in a lot of places around Boulder, we partnered with the city's affordable housing group. And as a result, we're able to convert them to permanently affordable. That means that they will be rented to people who earn 50 to 60% of the area median income. And we saw it as a great opportunity to provide transit-oriented housing because the nest on 30th is right by Boulder Junction and the nest on Osage and the nest on Thunderbird are right by Table Mesa Park and Ride, uh, as well as to preserve a really important asset in the city. As we all know, uh, housing is really hard to come by and affordable housing is even harder to come by in the city. And so we saw this as a great public-private partnership um, to provide something that the city really needs. It's the largest uh, affordable housing investment the city has ever made in terms of financial investment as well as the number of units that we were able to secure through this partnership. It raises us to 7.4% of the 10% goal. As part of the agreement, the apartments are also getting much needed renovations. We have uh, partnered with the city and then we also use something called low-income housing tax credits which are provided by uh, the Colorado Housing and Financing Agency. And they, uh, that means that we get to sell tax credits to the banking community and use that, those funds as the equity in our project. And as a result, not only are we providing affordable housing, but we're providing brand new units. So each unit will get about $40,000 in improvements, new floorings, new cabinets, new countertops, new bathrooms, new exteriors. They're just gonna be beautiful. And so for as long as these properties will be around, it's on the deed that they'll be restricted to affordability for housing. Well, our housing rental rates are set by HUD, the Department of Housing and Urban Development, and they are based uh, to reflect 30% of a family's income and to ensure long-term affordability. Um, our one-bedroom apartment homes range from 898 to 1085. That is all inclusive of utilities except for electricity. Our two-bedroom apartment homes range from 1076 to 1300, all inclusive of utilities except for electricity. And our three-bedroom apartment homes range from 1242 to 1501. Information about the project can be found on the city's website as well as elementproperties.com. If you're interested in possibly renting one of the newly renovated units, visit liveatthenest.com. The US 36 bikeway is now open all the way to Boulder. The first 11-mile portion between Westminster and Louisville Superior opened last summer and now the final seven miles are complete. The entire 18-mile bicycle corridor runs from Table Mesa Station in Boulder to 80th Avenue in Westminster. And it really combines all the communities along the 36 corridor and different organizations like 36 Commuting Solutions to really come together and focus in on a concept and a vision and an idea and bring it to fruition and here we are today. That's why it's such a big deal. So many years in the making and we now have an incredible system, a bikeway, that takes you again from Boulder all the way up to Westminster and has 16 underpasses and there's only two sections along where you actually have to cross at a signalized intersection and that's mainly near Westminster. And so it's, a, it's a, a pretty big accomplishment for our community and it really emphasizes our commitment to bicycling and mixing bicycling with transit, the future. A grand opening community bike ride will take place June 18th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. For more information about bike routes, multi-use paths, and bike safety in Boulder, visit the city's website. After the success of the Solar Benefits Colorado program last fall, the city of Boulder is teaming up with Boulder County to continue offering significant discounts for all Boulder County residents on residential rooftop solar, electric vehicles, and commercial solar. And so it was so successful, we wanted to do it again. However, we wanted to really localize the program, both with who we offer it to, as well as the companies that we're working with. Um, so the new name is Solar Benefits Boulder County, and uh, we're offering it to residents in all Boulder County communities. 
Um, we're really excited to be partnering with all of the different uh, municipalities and towns um, to get the word out uh, and excited to offer a good deal. There's a few different components. The residential solar piece has started. That started on February 16th. We're working with Namaste Solar on that and people can sign up at solarbenefitsboldercounty.com um, and that will be offered through May 15th is the sign-up deadline. Um, we're also doing uh, commercial solar for the first time uh, this go-around and that will be launching April 1st. Uh, that's also going to be with Namaste Solar but we're really really excited because it's looking like we'll be able to offer historically low prices for rooftop commercial solar. On the electrical vehicle portion, um, we're also in the midst of finalizing that, but uh, we're excited to offer multiple vendors this go around, and so our residents will be able to have more choice in what kind of vehicle they want to be purchasing. Um, we're also opening it up for electrical bikes, and so not only electrical vehicles, but electrical bikes as well. We think this is such a great program because all we're doing is leveraging the buying power of all of our residents. And we are leveraging something that's always existed, which is a bunch of people wanting to do the right thing. For more information about how to take advantage of the discounts offered to Boulder County residents, visit solarbenefitsboldercounty.com. Coming up March 16th through 20th at the Colorado Convention Center, residents will have a chance to interact with hundreds of different vehicle models, including electric vehicles displayed at the Regional Air Quality Council booth. These vehicles are great for the environment due to their lower emissions and greenhouse gas emissions. This is critical for our summer ozone season, and we need to see more of these vehicles on the road over the next few years. Range anxiety is a huge issue that we're trying to deal with right now through Charge Ahead Colorado. We've started with about 50 charging stations in the state at the beginning of the program, and we're going to have over 300 here soon. Now, those are primarily concentrated here in the Denver metro area. Boulder up through Fort Collins, but we are extending those out I-70 so you can get up to your favorite ski destination as well. Right now is a great time to purchase an electric vehicle. There are great state and federal tax incentives available, $6,000 for the state tax credit, $7,500 for the federal tax credit. There's the solar benefits program where you can get a great price on an EV. You can also get solar, uh, solar panels on your house, and you can take advantage of the 30% charging station tax credit through the federal government as well. Come on down to the Denver Auto Show. We'll be in booth 37, Charge Ahead Colorado. We have all the information on station locations, all the incentives in the state, and all the models that will be available in the state of Colorado. Visit denverautoshow.com for hours, exhibitor information, and to buy tickets. Find more information about electric vehicles by visiting cleanairfleets.org or refuelcolorado.org. The Boulder Police Department has several openings for victim advocate volunteers. Advocates work with the victims of crimes, accidents, natural disasters, and other critical events to provide support services. 17, 18 years ago, my stepmother had taken her life. And the authorities out in California were trying to reach me and were unable to do so by telephone, so they had to have the sheriffs come over to let me know that she had lost her life. Um, and it was the middle of the night and a sheriff came over and he brought two victims advocates with him. And they were fabulous. They were just present. They were there just to make sure that there was an emotional support system right in place at that time. And they provided resources uh, for more support and were just a terrific way to almost instantaneously start my healing. So when I saw a newspaper article that they were looking for victims advocates for the Boulder Police Department, I went, wow, I had to look into that. So I did and um, I had an interview with Susan, our, our director, and went through a 40-hour course and have been an advocate, I think, uh, 15 years now. Well, here's something that, that uh, uh, my family tells me, that uh, since I began service as an advocate seven, eight years ago, uh, I've actually become a nicer man, um, uh, that I have uh, uh, established much more contact with them, that I listen to them better, that I engage with them more, and uh, they point to the advocacy as, as the reason, and I think that's true. Not quite 30 years ago, I had a personal experience 
that brought victim advocates into my life. Um, had a child that died of SIDS and had folks come in and help my family kind of navigate the first few steps of that path, which is a long path. Um, and a few years later, I decided that I uh, really needed to return the favor. Volunteers must be at least 21 years old, be able to work one shift per month, commit to one year with the program, and complete a 40-hour training session. I think it's one of the most important courses I've ever taken as an individual. As far as I'm concerned, I think it would be a benefit if our whole society could take this 40-hour class to learn how to deal with things like grief, to learn how to deal with things like stress, to learn how to um, grow as individuals when unfortunate circumstances are that we're faced with. Um, but it's a 40-hour commitment. It's done in about a month's time period, and the course is fabulous. The application deadline is March 21st, and training begins March 29th. For more information and to get an application, contact Susan Townley. The City of Boulder is working on developing a long-range transportation plan for the East Arapahoe Corridor between Folsom Street and 75th Street. To assist the city in creating a long-term vision for East Arapahoe, the city is looking for individuals with varying backgrounds and interests to join a community working group. Putting together a community working group will be helpful for us as city staff because they will provide us input and feedback at each phase of the planning process as we develop the East Arapahoe Transportation Plan. And that input and feedback will carry forward to any recommendations that we bring to the Transportation Advisory Board and to City Council. Whether you commute East Arapahoe every day or don't because it doesn't work for you or you live and work in the area or you'd like to have better options for bicycling or walking or driving your car through the corridor or taking a bus, we want to hear from you. Working group members will be expected to attend four to six meetings over the course of one year. Interested individuals should email Jean Sanson by 5 p.m. on March 25th with a letter of interest with the following information. Name and contact information, statement of interest, and areas of experience and interest. Thank you for watching Inside Boulder News. Stay in touch with us on Facebook and Twitter by submitting news tips and questions. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. Just go to boulderchannel8.com and click on subscribe.